Hello, hello everyone. It is Tuesday, June 19th, and we're jumping right into all the fashion news that is going on in the world today, and there's a lot of it. So starting us off, Anne Hathaway is covering Allure's July issue. She looks so gorgeous, so natural. It's a really close-up shot, so we don't see much of her clothing on the cover, but we do see her gorgeous face and her striking features. But in the interview, she talks about her costume in The Dark Knight Rises, which we all can obsess over a little bit. Hello, it's a cat suit and Hathaway's in it. She talks about the Catwoman suit and she says, quote, it was a psychological terrorist. The thoughts of my suit changing my life so I fit into that suit. It dominated my year. I went into the gym for 10 months and didn't come out. Well, I would have to say that it was worth it because she does look great in the cat suit or is going to on the big screen. So really excited to see that Anne Hathaway and your cover is gorgeous. And in other news, Vanessa Hudgens goes purple. So she has taken her dark locks and made them super similar to Katy Perry's. Now it looks super funky, it looks good, totally Vanessa, but I, the only thing that bothers me just a little bit is that Katy Perry has kind of made this dark black and purple, her little bit of her signature. But you know, Vanessa, you're going for it. I love it. So now we've got KP and Vanessa with the purple hair. Let me know in the comments who you think does it better because I feel like this is a pretty good matchup. And in other hair news, January Jones ditches the blonde and goes red. Who says blondes have more fun when you can be red hot and feisty. It looks super good on her, but this hue is a tough one. So I don't know about you guys, but I, I do love the blonde on January, but the red does look good. But there has to be a reason why this actress decided to make this sudden change. But right now there's no word on why, nothing, no hints on her IMDb page. But if I had to guess, it's probably for a new movie, so, or TV show, we'll see. But in other news, Emma Stone's Vogue cover is finally officially out. Last week we saw the leaked cover and it was a little bit blurry, but now we've got the crisp clean photo of the amazing Spider-Man star on the cover of Vogue. It looks amazing. She's wearing Prada, she wears Givenchy, and of course, Emma Stone talks fashion. She talks about if she could dress like anyone. She says, quote, I probably wanted to dress like Diane Keaton, but that's just because I love her so much. She's really herself and that's what I like. So Emma Stone is on the cover of Vogue and looking gorgeous. And like I said yesterday, I think I get obsessed over like little things. Right now, I'm obsessed over July 3rd and the amazing Spider-Man. Because I really just love Emma and Andrew so much together, I can't really handle it on this Tuesday. Another couple, like, guy guys obsession with girls. There is a man who doesn't like Giselle Bundchen. That blows my brain. But it's the gorgeous hottie of the Dolce & Gabbana light blue ads, David Gandy. He's not Giselle's biggest fan. According to the New York Post, he says, Quote, I don't get on with Giselle. We don't see eye to eye, we argue, and we don't enjoy working with each other. Well, they've shot three campaigns together and the tension must have been high because David is seriously not into her. But I think that he's possibly one of the very few guys that doesn't like Giselle. I mean, Tom Brady would definitely have to differ, but I think most of the world would have to differ with David. But hmm, who knows? Maybe more will come out of that story, what they fought about. Keep on talking, David, give it to us. And in other news, Julian Rantic dishes on her style and she tells people that her style is masculine chic. Now, this is confusing, like goes way over my head. I see her on the red carpet all the time. And when I say I see her on the red carpet, I see photos of her on the red carpet all the time. And in E! News, she's always dressing very, very feminine. This whole masculine chic thing that she's deemed her uh, go-to style, is a little interesting, but she says, quote, when I go out at night, I wear a different version of the same thing skinny jeans, a black leather jacket, pointy toe stilettos, and a lace tank with a neon bra peeking through. So I do see a lot of different ways that you can wear this, but I mean, it's a little feminine. You got a lace lace top and a neon bra, no big deal. That's not too masculine chic, I don't think. Just a little rap star, Juliana. But the one thing that she takes the extra time to do at night is put on fake lashes. She thinks it takes you from day to night. And I'd have to agree, I'm a big fan of the fake lashes. I might or might not have them on right now. And I have something way more important than my fake lashes. Robert Pattinson has the designer for Gucci on speed dial. The Twilight star likes for 25 suits to be sent at a time. So he's always prepared for whatever appearance he has to make and I mean, come on Rob, that's a lot of suits. How many places do you have to go in a week? But 
hey, you know, you can never be too prepared, he says, and Gucci is a great way to be prepared. So in other news, we've talked about this way back when in December, but we had this whole hoopla with Louis Vuitton versus The Hangover Part 2, and that lawsuit has been dismissed. You remember in the movie, Zach Galifianakis, they're walking with all this luggage, and he calls it Louis Vuitton, or I, he says it some kind of funny way. But long story short, Louis Vuitton sued WB, saying that this was like, a defamation of their brand, etc., etc. They used fake bags. They didn't use real bags. They used fake ones. Basically, Louis Vuitton wanted to share profits, and they wanted the logos altered for the DVD release of the film. WB said they would not give Louis Vuitton any of the profits, and they wouldn't change the logo. They filed to dismiss the case, saying that the luggage was quote artistically relevant as part of a running joke in the movie. They filed to dismiss the case, and on Friday, the dismiss was granted. So it looks like Louis Vuitton thought that the running joke might be funny now after a couple months of uh, sitting on it. All right, and last but certainly not least, just a little hotness to start your Tuesday off right. Alessandra Ambrosio and Ashton Kutcher shot a campaign in Marina Del Rey on a boat, but we haven't seen the final photos. They're obviously not out because they just recently did this. But let me tell you, Alessandra's post baby bod is not too shabby. Another thing I'm obsessed with, Ashton Kutcher always have been, always will. So now that you've gotten my obsessions and the news for the day, I'm out and I will see you guys bright and early on Wednesday. Bye.